Hey team, my name is Susie and I am the video educator here at Typeform. And today I'm going to show you how to make a personality quiz. We recently released a new feature called Match Quiz Mode, which helps you create a personality quiz super easily. So I'm going to show you how you can use this Match Quiz Mode to make your very own personality quiz. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's start by creating a new form. Okay, so when you create your new form, you'll have three options. You can start from scratch, you can import questions, or you can create with AI. So we're actually gonna choose the create with AI option. And here you'll see a couple of varying options as well. So uh, you can either create just a generic form, you can create a lead qualification form, a product recommendation quiz, or a personality quiz. So the personality quiz and the product recommendation quiz, they use the same match quiz mode. Uh, but for this video, we're gonna make a personality quiz. So I'm just gonna show you what that looks like, especially if you're using AI. So if you click on personality quiz, so firstly, it'll ask you for your quiz endings. So the endings are the outcomes, what your respondents will see once they fill in the quiz. So you can either um, list the endings just very briefly, or you can go into a bit more detail about what you want the endings to be. So I am going to create a dog personality quiz. So basically, it's going to say, what kind of dog are you based on your personality traits. So I have four dogs in mind as the results for this quiz. So I'm just going to go ahead and write those in there. So we're going to have a golden retriever. We're going to have a French bulldog. We will have a Shiba Inu and also a border collie. Okay, so these are the quiz end results. So those are the four results that you can get from this quiz. Then you can click on continue here. And then the AI will work its magic to uh, give you a bit of a summary here of what these dog breeds traits are, which is what our traits will reflect in the quiz. So here you can go ahead and review the results. You can change things. You can make it a little bit more fun. I'll just leave these for now. And then the next we'll go to the quiz question. So we'll just hit continue on this. And again, AI is working its magic. And here we have six questions. Uh, so there'll be six multiple choice questions. Each question has three potential answers. So in my ideal world, I would want four potential answers because there are four potential outcomes. So I would like to have four answers for each question. Um, but again, I'm just going to leave this for now. And then later I'll go back in the form and make some tweaks to the questions. Okay. And then I will click continue. And then you can add some matching rules here. So if you want to specify any rules that you want to exclude or include, this will be the place here. Otherwise, you can set up all these match rules in match mode. So I'm just going to uh, click generate questions. So this can take uh, a little bit of time to create the quiz, but just be patient. So as you can see, this form has been created via AI and I have my questions here. And then I have the endings down here. So I'm just going to go ahead and tweak those a little bit. And then I'll come back with my finished form. OK, so here I am with my finished form. I added a welcome screen. I've tweaked the questions a little bit, added some emojis to make it a bit more interesting. And then I've added uh, some descriptions to the endings, so to the outcomes that people can see. Um, just to point out here that I did use the Typeform gallery here to find the images. So if you go to uh, our image gallery and you look for uh, dog photos, you can see you have plenty of options to choose from. So I tried to choose some cute photos that kind of go with the style of my form. Obviously, I spent way too much time with the dog picture 
portion of this, which is why I didn't want to put you through that. Okay, so now we have all of our questions set up. And as you can see here, we are in match quiz mode. So this is a new mode that we have added. We have a knowledge quiz as well, which we have a video on if you want to learn more about that, where you can set scores and correct answers. But here we are in match quiz mode. And you can change to this mode at any time. So if you create your form in universal mode, which is the default mode, and then you decide, oh wait, I want this to be a match quiz, you can easily just switch to match quiz mode and then you can set up your matching. So that is what we are going to do next. So if you go to the endings here, you will see that there is a new option to edit the matching rules. So once you click on edit, you'll see that you have each of the endings and you will be able to set those rules from here. So previously this was done with the outcome quiz and now this is done all through the content tab a lot easier and a lot smoother. So here is where you assign each answer to a ending. So to make your life easier for this purpose, um, I would suggest when you're adding your answer options to add the answers for ending A as option A for every question. That'll make it a bit easier for you when you're adding the matching rules. And then later you can go ahead and randomize the answers so that people aren't catching on to what you're trying to do. So for um, the ending A, I set all of the answers from each question as A. So if you are a golden retriever, you're the peacemaker and the glue, you would say the more the merrier, and so on and so forth. So in every question, I am adding A as the answer. And then for B, I'll do the same for ending B. So just adding all of those here. For C, I will do the same. Ending C is the French Bulldog. And then finally for ending D, I will add all of the answers for ending D. So literally just scrolling through, clicking on it, and then we hit save. And that is literally all there is to it. So essentially what you're doing is that you're matching the answers to an ending. So what, whichever answer comes up the most often is the ending that your respondent will see. And if there's a tie, so let's say there's two A's and two B's and a C, for example, then the one that will show up is just the first one in order. Okay, and one other thing that I did mention earlier that we should be doing here is to randomize the answers. So that way no one's just clicking through A, 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 A. Um, well, maybe they are, but at least it won't default directly to ending A. Uh, so we are just going to randomize those answers so that people will see them not in this order, but that won't affect um, your actual results. Okay, now we're going to publish the form and let's try it out. So if I go to the share panel here, I'm going to copy this link. Okay, so what type of dog are you? Let's just pick some random answers here. The comic relief. The more the merrier, seaweed chips, uh, ignore it till it magically disappears, and ideal weekend plans, hiking with friends. Okay, submit. So I am a golden retriever. So that's all there is to it. So now if we go back, I've already sent this out to some of my coworkers, and if you go to the responses, you can see here um, all of the responses and you can see the endings. So these are the endings that people landed on the most often. So that is it. That is the super easy way that you can create a personality quiz with Typeform with our new match quiz mode. Don't forget to check out our knowledge quiz mode as well and check out our help center for more tips and tricks on how to use Typeform.